What's going on guys? Welcome to your first and probably the best tutorial that you've ever watched in your entire life because we're dealing with Facebook which is pretty awesome except for their IPO which wasn't so much awesome. So the first thing that we need to do is get the SDK so we can communicate with Facebook, make updates to you know the person or whoever's using our applications profile or pictures or we want to access things through Facebook. Uh, we need the SDK to do that. So you guys want to open up your favorite browser. Most likely it's going to be Chrome, unless if you know you're one of those uh, Internet Explorer type people. Um, I used Internet Explorer for a while and then I just used it to download Chrome. I haven't thought about it since. So uh, jump over there and go to this website. You know, it's developers.facebook.com. You should get a, a site like this. All right, so it might be tempting to click this build for mobile, but actually what we want to do is type in Android SDK, not caps lock, unless if you're really angry, but you can, it doesn't matter. And then just hit Android SDK, and here is where we need to be. Uh, you can see right here, if you read carefully, the SDK is open source available at GitHub. So we're gonna click on this guy right here, and we're just gonna hit zip, or clone, whatever you guys are using. I'm just gonna zip it because uh, that way both Windows and Mac can follow along. Sorry Windows, you can't clone in Mac, probably. Alright, so we've downloaded our SDK. Let's locate that. I'm going to pull up my finder and it's probably going to show some crazy stuff that I've downloaded. Um, but let's go into our downloads and... Now I like to drag and drop this Facebook folder uh, or all my SDKs into a SDK folder that I created under my, you know, my login here. So I'm going to drag and drop that here and we're gonna just export it. So double click, unzip it, not export, my bad. So now what we wanna do is add the Facebook SDK into a clip, so we're gonna right click in our Project Explorer, go to New Android Project, or if your Android project isn't there, go to Other, and within your Android folder, you can select Android Project. Now if you don't have the Android folder, that means you probably didn't install the Android SDK properly, so uh, you know, do a quick Google search uh, on how to install the Android SDK with Eclipse and figure that out. Hopefully you guys have developed an app before so you have this all set up. Um, that's at least what I'm assuming. So hit next and we're going to say create project from existing source and we're going to locate where we just extracted our Facebook SDK. Again, mine was within my SDK package and we're going to go into our folder. We aren't going to import the whole folder. We're going to go to the Facebook folder within you know, uh, that zip folder that we uh, extracted, and we're going to open that. So we're going to hit OK and just hit Finish, and it's going to import into your project. All dandy, everything's awesome. Now, that's just going to be a reference library for our other applications, so we need to set up our actual Facebook application we want to develop. So we're going to create a new Android project again. Call this like Facebook um, app, something like that. Uh, and we're going to develop for the 2.2 platform so you guys can you know do that I just figured 2.2 sells a lot more for or gets a lot more downloads so I like developing for that and we're also going to change your prep package name I'm going to change mine to com.mybringback.facebook uh, you can change it to whatever you guys want maybe Facebook app and I'm also going to change our starting activity to be starting place so it's nice and defined um, and there we go uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to attach this uh, reference library to our project so we're gonna right click on our project the Facebook app work folder go down to properties and then we're gonna go up to the Android tab now down here is our libraries that we can add and we're just gonna say add library and we're gonna add the Facebook or the com Facebook Android that we imported just about a minute ago hit OK and make sure everything looks good hit apply okay and we are good to start developing so make sure you check out the next tutorial uh, we're gonna get some things rolling uh, so uh, that's pretty much the setup hopefully everything went okay for you guys um, but uh, I'll catch you in the next tutorial have a good one